The Mercedes-Benz 540K W29 is a car built by Mercedes-Benz from 1936 to 1940. Introduced at the 1936 Paris Motor Show, the Friedrich Geiger designed car was a development of the 500K, itself a development of the SSK. Available as a both a two and four seat cabriolet, four seater coupe or seven seater limousine, with armored sides and armored glass, it was one of the largest cars of its time. It retailed for 28,000 Reichsmarks, approximately $230,000 in 2021. In 1936, the straight minus eight cylinder engine of the 500K was enlarged in displacement to 5,401 cubic centimeters, 329.6 cubic inches. It was fed by twin pressurized updraft carburetors, developing 115 horsepower, 86 kilowatt. In addition, there was an attached root supercharger, which could either be engaged manually for short periods, or automatically when the accelerator was pushed fully to the floor. This increased power to 180 horsepower, 130 kilowatt, enabling a top speed of 170 kilometers per hour, 110 miles per hour, Power was sent to the rear wheels through a 4-speed or optional 5-speed manual gearbox that featured synchromesh on the top three gears. Vacuum-assisted hydraulic brakes kept the car under the driver's control. The 540K had the same chassis layout as the 500K, but it was significantly lightened by replacing the girder-like frame of the 500K with oval section tubes, an influence of the Silver Arrows racing campaign. To meet individual wishes of customers, three chassis variants were available. As for the 500K, two long versions with a 3,290 mm, 130 inches, wheelbase, differing in terms of powertrain and bodywork layout, and a short version with 2,980 mm, 117 inches. The long variant, termed the normal chassis with the radiator directly above the front axle, served as the backbone for the four seater cabriolets, the B, with four side windows, and C, with two side windows and for touring cars and saloons. The shorter chassis was for the two-seater cabriolet, A, set up on a chassis on which radiator, engine, cockpit and all rearward modules were moved 185 mm, 7.3 inches, back from the front axle. As usual with Mercedes cars of this period the Sindelfingen factory provided in-house coachwork, and employed 1,500 people to create the 540K, thus allowing for a great deal of owner customization, meaning only 70 chassis were ever bodied by independent builders. Owners included Jack L. Warner of Warner Brothers Film Studios. With the outbreak of World War II in 1939, the proposed further boring out of the engine to 5,800 cubic centimeters, 5.8 liters, for a 580K was aborted, probably after only one such car was made. Chassis production ceased in 1940, with the final two being completed that year and earlier chassis were still being bodied at a steady rate during 1940, with smaller numbers being completed in the 1941-1943 period. Regular replacement bodies were ordered in 1944 for a few cars. On top of the normal and roadster cars, 12 special cars were developed on an extended chassis length with a 3,880mm wheelbase. All of these cars were developed for the Nazi hierarchy, as six-seater convertible saloons. To allow for armor plate, these cars had developed De Dion rear suspension. Due to their higher weight, their maximum speed was 140 km per hour, 87 miles per hour, after the assassination attempt on Reinhard Heydrich in Prague at the end of May 1942. The Reich Chancellery would only use armored cars for ministers and leaders of friendly powers. Beside 20 large Mercedes-Benz 770s, in 1942 they ordered an additional 20,540 kiloseconds developed as two-door armored saloons. These were delivered during 1942 and 1943. A further order for 17 armored saloons was placed in late 1943, and these were delivered in April 1944. One of these cars was given as a gift from Adolf Hitler to Ante Pavelic, leader of the independent state of Croatia. After the war, this car was captured and used first by Ivan Krajicic, and then by Josip Broz Tito. In 1936, Mercedes-Benz introduced the 540K Special, designated 540 kiloseconds. Based on the shorter 2,980mm wheelbase chassis, its body was carefully crafted. Its price tag of 28,000 Reichsmarks, some earned 6,000 above the price of standard models, 
meant only 32 were ever built. In 1937, Reichsmarschall Hermann Göring ordered a 540 kiloseconds, in his favorite color of Luftwaffe, blue with his family crest on both doors. It included armor-plated sides and bulletproof glass, nicknamed the Blue Goose, Göring was often photographed in the car. On May 4, 1945, the U.S. Army, C Company, 326th Engineers, 101st Airborne Division, Screaming Eagles, entered Berchtesgaden, and on finding the car took possession. Major General Maxwell Taylor used the car as his command vehicle in West Germany until it was commissioned by the U.S. Treasury. Shipped to Washington, D.C., it successfully toured the United States in a victory bond tour. In 1956, the car was auctioned off by the U.S. Army at the Aberdeen Proving Grounds in Maryland and sold to Jacques Tunick of Greenwich, Connecticut, with a high bid of $2,167. In 1958, Tunick sold the car to the private collection of veterinarian Dr. George Biggood Jr., who had it repainted in black and the chrome replated. Kept private, Biggood only displayed it once, at the 1973 County Fair in Durham, Connecticut. After Biggood's death, the Blue Goose was shown by his family in June 2002 at the 101st Airborne Reunion at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. The car was then sold to Carnlau International Limited of Guernsey, on the agreement that it be restored to its condition, as found at Berchtesgaden.